Hello, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the TCP polisher from TES. This is uh, the TCP100A, so you have to remove the top first. Then we're going to do this blow shaft here. This helps the capsules get clean by putting compressed air down the center of the shaft. Remove the cover. And in the back there's a belt, so we need to take it off the pulley. We can loosen the tension up a little bit and make that easier. There's latches on the back that we got to undo. There we go. Bearing slides off. Now you can pull the brush apart. We're going to do this every time to be able to clean the brush. So one tool that you do need to take this apart is a uh, Allen wrench, uh, four millimeter. So you just need to loosen up this collar on the end and twist it. And now the brush will be able to pull off. So now you'd be able to clean these brushes, you'd wash them with soap and water. You'd probably let it hang and air dry. You don't want to use compressed air, it'll ruin your bristles, as well as if you leave it wet sitting down somewhere, it may flatten your bristles out, so you gotta be careful. So okay, so now we're just gonna put this back together. Slide it till it locks into this bottom collar. Take your top collar here, slide it down. So now when you slide your brush back up, you just gotta make sure the bottom stays in. Bring your brush up to the top. So once they're both ends are in, now this is the important part that people forget, that you need to put like a quarter turn to put some preload on that brush. Otherwise the brush will wanna come off when it's running. So the preload on there, I'm gonna tighten this bolt back down. Okay, so the another important thing, once the brush is back on the shaft, you want to take off the one end of the baffle here, on the back end. That should pull out. And we're going to want to put this back on the brush. And we're going to want to make sure we click, get all the bristles on the back side of that baffle. Otherwise those bristles are going to get caught when it wants to rotate. Kind of grab the bristles from the bottom and pull them through. I'm guessing if you do this every day, you'd be faster than I am. Almost got them all. There we go. With all the bristles through, a couple left. Okay. Now we can slide this back through the perforated tube. Like so. Now we're ready to put it back on the machine. Set it back on. Bearing back on. Get those nice housings. We have the cover. Slip it back on. Back down. Make sure we put our air fitting back on. We can spin the shaft if we want or spin the fitting itself. I usually just leave this hand tight so I don't have to grab my wrench when I'm undoing it. Now put your belt on. Bottom pulley is cut so the belt should just be able to slip on. And that's about it.